Hey everyone, it's Nick with Radvi Detection here. I uh, got a bit of a surprise for us today. We have the Alphound AB Plus G. This is a full alpha, beta, gamma detector, and it can separate between all three. Uh, in here we have the standard AB Plus stuff, plus the gamma mod stuff, which adds a 5x5x25 five by five by BGO crystal. This lets us do some basic spectroscopy, um, spectral dose rate, and uh, of course separate between alpha, beta, and gamma. So let me give you guys a bit of a example here. We have a cesium-137 check source. Um, you can hear we also added the speaker to it. Um, and then we also have different tones for alpha and beta and gamma. So as you see here, we got the beta side to it. You can hear that beta pick up more. And if we're just gamma only, you can hear that. And then of course that works with our alpha too. So if we move this check source out of the way, we have our alpha check source right here. You can hear the different sound clicks it has. So yeah, each time uh, a particle hits, we make a sound for that specific uh, alpha, beta, or gamma channel. Up at the top here, we have our dose rate. So we can see we are at uh, 13 microrim. We're a little bit hot here because I have some sources out, some of our check sources. We also have the counts per second down here. Uh, we can use our buttons to go left and right. Um, real quick, I'll show you guys. I have a uh, Thallium 204 check source here. And we also have implemented on this, um, uh, people call it finder mode, but it's kind of like a, a spectral um, audio response. So you can see here as we get closer to it. It uh, automatically enters that mode. And let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm still working out the audio algorithms, so just let me know. Um, so yeah, there's our data source. So what we can do is we can go into the next mode here. Here we have our gamma spectrums. So I'm going to throw in a cesium-137 for us. And we can see our spectrum building out right now. Um, so while we're in this mode, if we hold down the center button, we'll uh, isolate this mode, so we'll lock into it. And then we can actually uh, scroll with our cursor here uh, to search for peaks. So we have a peak right here. If we go up a little bit, you can see we're really close to 662 right here, which is the cesium peak for cesium-137. Um, we can scroll left and right with that. Now, a really cool thing with this is that we actually have a couple different views of our gamma spectrum here. So this is the standard gamma spectrum view, uh, plus or minus 15% full width half max. If we press this middle button here, we actually see a different view. So this is what is our uh, flux view. Uh, so this is actually showing us what's flying through the air, um, not just what our sensor sees, but calibrated for what's actually happening from this source. So you can see here, this normal small cesium peak is actually way bigger once we actually see what's flying through the air and what our sensor is calibrated for. If we go ahead and press that button again, and give it a second here, we actually see our dose view. So this is what's imparting dose on your body. This isn't um, the raw gamma spectrum, of course it's corrected, but you can see here what's implementing the dose from this cesium is this massive 662 peak. Um, this can be a little hard to see since it's just a single peak isotope. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back out for a uh, sodium 22. So let me find my tongs here. The sodium-22 is pretty hot, so I'll have to keep it a little bit away from the detector. Um, of course, with the alpha, beta, gamma, we can still use our shakes um, and everything like that, our haptic functions, uh, to clear everything out. So here we can actually start seeing our sodium-22 spectrum build out. Uh, if we use our cursor here, we can see the 511 uh, keV peak from sodium-22 as well. We see this little uh, hump out here towards the end. Uh, we can scroll over there and see that peak. Um, so we can also now, uh, so this is again, traditional gamma spectrum um, that you would normally see. If we press this middle button here, we'll be shown our flux view. So this is showing us again, what's coming through the air. Uh, and so you can see actually this, this little tiny peak all the way out there uh, in the previous graph is actually quite a bit of it flying through right now. Uh, and then we click one more and it'll show us the dose view. So here's the dose view now. So this is showing us um, the specially compensated dose effectively of showing us that actually the reason the sodium-22 is so dosy, again, we're getting 1.4 millirem an hour on um, a couple inches away, is because of this high energy gamma that's coming out right here. That's just some examples of what you can do with AB plus G. Of course, we have all of our standard modes. I won't cover those too much. So since we're locked in this mode, we have to hold our middle button here to unlock, and then we can scroll. So we, of course, have all of our standard modes. And you can see we have our audio here. So I will go ahead and move this source out of the way. Um, if we go ahead and hold left and right at the same time, we'll enter into our settings. So you can see here, we can go to our units. So we have different units here. 
Uh, we can also um, change the screen brightness. Of course, we can turn audio on and off. Uh, we have our modes panel where you can select your favorite modes to run through. Um, we also have background subtraction here for alpha, beta, and gamma. Uh, and then we also have our total dose. So uh, here you can see we're in micro rim. Um, so here we have 39 micro rim of total dose. This will keep track after you turn the device off. This will accumulate. Uh, and you can just hit clear here to clear your dose out. Um, and then, of course, uh, you can just shake to exit. So yeah, this is Alphound AV Plus G. It's available as a full unit like this, or you can uh, do it in a mod kit, uh, which comes with every part needed to make yourself a, uh, a full Alpha Beta Plus Gamma uh, from your Alpha Beta Plus. Uh, this has been Ryan B. Nick. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Pre-orders are open now.